What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross, I like games, and today, there's a new battle card to talk about, which has literally just been revealed on the Transformers Facebook page. As I'm recording, it's been two minutes. I saw it early, I'm a little bit proud of myself. It's Mining Pick. And if you're into an attacking deck, I like this a lot. Now, it has an orange pip. Orange pip, when you're attacking, when you flip this, you get to add one to your attack. That is very nice. We like orange pips in attacking decks. And it is an upgrade weapon, which gives you plus one attack. Now, generally speaking, plus one attack is not particularly good. There are plenty of better things that can give us plus one attack. I mean, if you want a weapon with an orange icon that gives you plus one attack, how about thermal weaponry? Except you also get PS1 for each blue icon you flip, which means if you're not playing an entirely orange deck, if you've got to play a few blue icons, great example of this is Dino Chomp in Dinobot decks, where the bold five that you get is just too good to turn down, but you've got to play a blue pip. Oh, look. Now, all of a sudden, you're getting some Pierce as well. I'm not saying it's the only example. I'm just saying there's plenty of other plus one attack weapons we've got with an orange pip that are, frankly, just better than this. Oh, wait. I should mention that there are, in fact, other things about this card. Because when you attack, you get Plan 2, which puts two cards from your hand on top of your deck. Plan 2 is good. We've not seen much Plan 2 yet. And when you put a card from your hand on top of your deck, i.e. Plan 2, the upgraded character gets plus one attack until end of turn. This is extremely powerful, ladies and gentlemen. Because what you do here is several things, all of which help you with your attacking. First of all, you get the plus one attack. Plus one attack is good. Secondly, you get the orange icon. Orange icon is good. Thirdly, you get plan two. Now, if we stop and look at plan two for a minute, that means that when you attack, you get to put two cards from your hand on top of your deck. Now, this means that you get to basically choose the two cards that you're flipping over when you're flipping for the attack. So when you flip for your attack, you get to flip two battle cards, and the amount of orange icons you get are added on to your attack, and your opponent flips two cards, and the amount of blue icons they flip are added to their defense. Now, it's extremely unlikely, but let's say for argument's sake, you have two Peace Through Tyranny in your hand. This is my general double orange example, if you haven't noticed. Peace Through Tyranny, very awkward card to try and use, because you've got to KO a character to use it, you can't do that very often. But it's got a double orange pip, which means that if you can flip it while attacking, you get two extra attack, that's lovely. So if you've got double orange pip, Yay! Put them both down. You're guaranteed to flip four orange pips. So even if you don't have any bold or anything like that to allow you to flip extra battle cards, you're still getting plus four attack. That's brilliant. I mean, look, you're not actually often going to have mining pick attached to a character and have two piece through tyranny in hand. That's not going to happen often, but it will happen sometimes. And when it does, that is going to be absolutely wonderful. So you get to stack your deck. And plan two is not something we've seen very much at all. Now, in wave two, we have got the new dino bots. And I will tell you that plan two does exist here. We see that Dinobot Snarl has plan two when it attacks, which is quite cool. Outside of that, we've really not seen very much plan. I mean, plan is a new keyword skill in the Transformers training card game when we move into wave two. And we've seen stuff like Decepticon Crown, which is really only for Decepticons, which gives you plan one, but then again, that can stack. So you can potentially get more than one plan from that, which is kind of nice. But I don't think we've seen plan two on a battle card yet. If I am mistaken with that, please do let me know in the comment section. I will happily pin it, update it, all that good stuff. So plan two is incredibly powerful. But the thing we need to remember about plan two, you're putting two cards from your hand on top of your deck. So it's not like you can just constantly be putting down cards because you start off with a hand of three, you draw one every turn, 
But if you're putting down two cards for plan, plus playing your upgrade, plus playing your action, because every turn you can play one action and one upgrade. So if you're putting plan two down as well as an action and an upgrade, you're basically drawing one card and playing four. That is not in the long run going to work out. It's why I said I adore a card like Field Communicator that I was so lucky to be able to reveal on my channel here. Because Field Communicator discards the top card of your deck or scraps it, and then you can play it. So you get the advantage without having to empty out your hand. Plan 2 is amazing for setting up a big attack. I don't want to take anything away from Plan 2. Plan 2 is great. But Plan 2 is not amazing if you don't have other cards in hand. And then we get to the other part of this battle card. For every card you put down, you get plus one attack. So if you use plan two to its fullest and put down two cards, plus two attack. If you use plan one, because there's only one card you want to put down, then you get plus one attack. If you don't put any cards down, you don't get the plus attack. So when you attack, you can just go, because it is optional, it's up to two cards. So you can just go, nah, you know what, I'm not putting any cards down. And then you don't get plan two, because you're not choosing to use it. And because you don't use it, you don't boost your attack. And that means you still get the plus one attack from the card, but that's all you get. But let's imagine that we're having the best case scenario here. Let's say you're actually using plan two to its fullest. Then you've got plus three attack. Plus three attack, ladies and gentlemen, is not something that comes around very often. Now, it does happen, but there's always a downside. So we've got Static Laser of Ironhide. Static Laser of Ironhide gives you plus three attack, and if you happen to be Ironhide, yay! And we did look at a new Ironhide just the other day when we looked at Optimus Maximus. I'll make sure I pop a link to that one in the description. But unless you're Ironhide, you take two damage. That's not ideal. We've got Grenade Launcher that actually gives you plus four attack, just so long as you don't mind the fact that it falls off at the end of turn. And probably the best option here we've got is Energon Axe, which gives you plus three attack and gives you PS2. But firstly, it can only be put onto a damaged character. And secondly, it has a blue icon. And if you're an attacking character and you're in an attacking deck, you don't really want those blue icons. So let's make no mistake about this. When you use Mining Pick to its fullest effect, it is over-the-top phenomenal. Plus free attack, and you get to fix the top two cards of your deck. Now, the absolute best-case scenario here, you put down two double orange pips, you get plus free attack while guaranteeing that you're going to hit four orange pips, which essentially gives you plus seven attack, which is redonk but it's not going to happen very often. If you're in an attacking deck, this is great. Everything about this is great. But frankly, you need draw power. If you're not playing draw power, this just isn't going to work. One character I really do like with this is one of the other Dino Bots from Wave 2. Bearing in mind, Dino Bots are often playing a very aggressive style. Dinobot Snarl, when you attack and you have fewer cards in hand than your opponent, you draw two cards. So you're often going to be playing cards down with plan and, ah, oh, this is so annoying, but you're drawing two cards. So now, during your turn, you're essentially playing four cards with plan two, playing an upgrade, playing an action. But you're drawing three cards, one for your turn, two with Sludge, and now you're starting to redress the balance a little bit. Along those same lines, I'm not such a fan of Dinobot Snarl from Wave 1. Dinobot Snarl, when you flip it over, if you've got zero cards in hand, you draw two. Great straight after a Dino Jump, but you can guarantee a zero card hand because you've had to discard your hand. Really not such a big fan of it with this because you've got to manipulate a zero card hand and you really don't want to be having to go to a zero card hand when you're already having enough trouble keeping cards in hand. And that is a secret downside to plan. As much as it is great to fix the top card of your deck, you can run yourself out of cards fairly quickly here. And there's other characters like Autobot Cosmos that just aren't going to work so well with this. When you flip it to alt mode, scrap your hand and draw that many cards. So although you're refreshing your hand, you're not actually ever giving yourself 
an advantage. You're never getting that card advantage. And that's what you need here. So, I mean, look, we can look at something like Chromia here. When you attack in bot mode and flip at least two white icons, draw two cards. Problem is, you're fixing yourself with plan two. So you can make sure you flip the two white icons, but then you're really just fixing it to make sure you get the draw. The other thing we need to talk about mining pick very quickly is cards where we want to fix the top deck. And I'm sorry, but I'm going back to another character that we've talked about a few times lately, Slipstream. When this attacks and you flip at least three different icons, you get plus three attack until end of turn. So here you can essentially put down two cards, and if one of them's a double pip, I don't know, think something like... Ah, let's go Decepticon Crown, that's got a double pip. Then all of a sudden, you are guaranteeing that you're hitting the double pip, which guarantees you're getting the plus three attack. This isn't the only character where you need to get a very specific thing going on, but it is something you can do. I mean, you can even use this with Metroplex. Metroplex has a really super awkward cost for its ability of... Two orange, two blue, two white. So you can essentially use this to guarantee that you get Metroplex rolling very nicely. This is a great card. You've got to be focused on attacking, really, because of the orange pip and the plus one attack. But the fact that you get plan two, and you get extra attack for each plan you use, and it's got an orange pip and a plus one attack normally, I absolutely love it. You've got to, I think, have some draw power with this. But if you need a specific combination of pips, this is great. If you're just going full aggro and playing a whole bunch of double orange, I mean, let's say you're not playing a 25-star deck, you can play the Mounted Missiles card that I was lucky enough to reveal, which has a double orange pip, as well as playing Peace Through Tyranny, which has a double orange pip, as well as playing Improvised Shield, which gives you a double orange pip. You can be playing nine double orange pip cards in your hand, in which case mining pick and the chance of drawing two of them when you've got a mining pick attached, pretty gosh darn good. So I'm a big fan of this, although I don't think it will fit into every deck and you need some draw power. But I would very much like to know what you think about this. So please do let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. But please do remember the most important rule as always. Be nice, would you? And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and follow me on Twitter at the Wossy, where we talk Transformers and other games. But by far the most important thing, as always, is to look after yourselves. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wossy Plays.